Welcome back here on this Wednesday afternoon, a sunny Wednesday afternoon. We're finally starting to warm up after what was a chilly morning. It wasn't awful by any means. I just had the jacket on, the heat on in the car, and that was good enough for me. Now, tomorrow could be a different story here. We'll, we'll We'll get into that in just a second, but right now, at least the sun is shining, so things are looking better over the capital city here. Don't expect a whole lot of changes through the evening hours. So clouds starting to build this evening, but those will quickly move out as a cold front from the north takes over. And temperatures right now, already 60 out in Ashland. Things getting much warmer, 56 along Huntington and Charleston, 54 in Athens. These temperatures will be in those low to mid 60s by 2, 3 o'clock and really a comfortable afternoon. I think we could finally get the t-shirts back on here for the very end of the day. But as soon as that sun goes back down, temperatures are going to plummet. Once again, you can see a few high clouds building up there on the radar. Most of the cloud cover staying in off to the north here with a cold front. It's kind of draped along the Great Lakes. We're anticipating that to continue to drop south, though. As it does, we will get a few clouds, but usually we talk about a cold front. We talk about the moisture. Well, besides this moisture around the Great Lakes, there's really not a whole lot of cold air or moisture, I should say, with this cold air to trigger any major problems. So you can see back west, things nice and clear further to the northwest as well. So what's going to happen once that cold front drops to the south, it's really just a temperature change more than anything. So for the rest of the day, we get fairly comfortable in those low 60s. The wind's picking up, though, so it may feel a little bit colder outside. Here's where those clouds drift in, and you'll notice they go further to the south and to the east. By 11 o'clock tonight, we're back to 45. So that was fairly close to what we had for this morning commute. Well, it just keeps on going down after that, folks. Another about 10 degrees or so. We're waking up to temperatures in the mid 30s. Usually we're not seeing that until late December. Well, here it is in October. We had the above average temperatures right back down to the below average temperatures. The one good thing here is that sunshine still out, but it will be a good 10 degrees cooler tomorrow than what it is right now. So be ready for a chilly start to the day. Not a major warm up, but still we do get a uh, rebound a little bit here. But Friday morning, the coldest day of them all. Yeah, we're closing in close to freezing temperatures as we look towards Friday morning. So what does that mean for us as far as the frost in the freeze? Well, here we go. Frost likely the next few days. We are expecting those uh, really some frost on the windshields here as you wake up. So you may need to leave a little bit early here to get those windows scraped. Certainly you won't need to worry about that for the weekend. Saturday and Sunday much warmer. Look at Monday. We're talking temperatures down below freezing already hard to believe we're talking about it now after how hot it was but definitely not out of the realm of possibility here for that weekend so if you need to get that yard work done it's not going to feel great in the morning but at least in the afternoon it'll be okay especially today i'd say just get it done now we've got much cooler temperatures coming in friday that's when we see the rain chances popping up as well and then finally heading into that weekend are you feeling lucky well the big story of the day of course Scratch off, Jennifer. We, we, nobody hit it. Can we match three sunny days in a row? Did we? Nope. <laughs> also unlucky here. Rain chances Friday, Saturday, Sunday looks a little bit better with the sun, but temperatures down into the 50s, very unusually cold temperatures by the time we make it into the start of next week. Be ready for that here. You see it on that seven day as well up and down temperature wise. And then finally, it looks like next week we stabilize a little bit more. 60 by Monday, we get that sunshine back out after a very chilly next couple of days break out those winter coats.